Hey everybody, Bill in Virginia. Welcome back. It is a hot summer day here in Virginia. And, oh, look what I've got. A very large box from Caboose Stop Hobbies. Hmm, I wonder what I got. I know some of it, but most of it I don't. Uh, this episode's gonna be dedicated to uh, unboxing because I've got this that just came. And later in this episode, I've got another much larger box that should be here in a few days. So uh, let's have some fun. So it's after work and I am outside in the garage and I will uh, start the unpacking on this one from Caboose Stop Hobbies, Cedar Falls. Uh, I was up there, oh, it's been about two weeks ago now, visiting my uh, mother uh, over a weekend, and then going to Chicago to do some work. So I bought a lot and stuff that I've gotten off of their shows uh, that they have each week. You know, it's a big box and it's full. Merlin does the packing and he can do a really good job. So I haven't looked in here yet. Um, you know, I know a variety of things that I have purchased and some that I don't remember here. So topping it off, Ghost Railroads in Colorado. On some other books that I picked up here. So I'm happy with that. Put them over here for a while. Uh, and then, then I got this for just a few dollars, which was a bag of cork, HO scale. That will go on for uh, the next HO scale layout. And looks like I got a book in here as well. Dig that out. Yep, uh, short line railway guide. So a variety of different things. But you can see a bag full of cork for just a little bit of nothing, which is perfect. And then this uh, is something that I bought when I was there. So ON30 rail bus. Uh, it's DCC no sound. Uh, it's basically new old stock. Uh, it's, it may have been run on somebody's layout. It might not have been, but I'm going to run it on mine here. Uh, the color is perfect. You know, it's going to go nice on my layout, so we'll get that one on the layout here soon. And let's see what we got in this one. Oh, I have no idea. Oh yeah, all kinds of stuff. Um, I went on a spending spree for scratch build stuff again. Uh, so a lot of this is from when I was there, from different shows that I've picked up on, bits and pieces, a whole host of things so that I can do scratch builds and fix things up that have already been uh, built. I will kind of go through this in more detail, but you can see I've got lots of goodies in here that I can do things with. Uh, more scenic materials, but uh, you know, all of this, uh, this has been on somebody's hanger for a long period of time. Uh, I got it for less than 99 cents a piece, much less than that. I picked up everything that she had at that point in time. So. Good with all of that stuff. Let me uh, get some decals. I don't even know what all is in here. I will go through and look at stuff. Building kits. Uh, what else did I get here? Uh, doors. Uh, HS gun. Yeah, okay. All kinds of things. Um, anyway. Yeah, I remember I got the roofing. So. We'll kind of do more with that here in just a little bit. Let me move some of this stuff and then we'll get going down into the, the rest of this box here. So this is a very special piece. Uh, this was given to me by a friend of mine who uh, lives in Iowa that I worked with many years ago. He and I stay connected and we egg each other on for buying model train stuff. Uh, we've known each other since, actually, probably the latter part of the mid-80s. Uh, his wife went to college, same time I did. She was part of the coffee group. 
that we were all together. So uh, Laura intri introduced me to her then boyfriend, Wade, and they got married and I've worked with Wade uh, for a number of years back in the 90s. So he bought this, uh, he was gonna put it on uh, his desk. Then he got thinking that, you know what? It might look good on mine, so he gave it to me. So Wade, I wanna thank you, uh, my good friend. This is a Hallmark uh, 20th Century series. So HO scale, beautiful, beautiful uh, display model. So I am gonna set that up in my office and prominently display that. So again, Wade, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. So this next box is a O-Scale kit that uh, they had on one of the Monday night shows and uh, it didn't sell uh, by the time I got there the following weekend. And this is an O-Scale powerhouse kit. Now, they don't know if it's all there but looking at all of the bits and pieces and parts, I'd say there's a good chance that this might be a complete kit. So I will be uh, playing with this at some point in time. You know, I don't have any uh, intention of building any more O scale, at least in the near future, but I do want to build uh, some buildings. Uh, you know, put them on display, have a few models again up in the office so that I've got a place to kind of play with some different things. So this should keep me out of mischief for a while. And this was, I think, $30 for everything that's in this box, so not bad. Uh, don't know if the instructions are there. Uh, I gotta look through the box and find out, but this was definitely a good deal. So this box is full of styrene. Bits and pieces, full packages, uh, styrene down in here stuff that I have no idea what all I'm gonna find uh, you know, there's, well there's even wood in here <laughs> so just all kinds of different things so last time I was there I bought a uh, bin like a storage bin basically about the size of one of those bins over there you know they're fairly big uh, last time it was full of wood uh, you know scrap wood scale wood different things this time I bought one that was full of styrene and bits and pieces. This is stuff that was in the bottom of it. There's definitely a lot of uh, sheet styrene and a whole bunch of other things that are deeper into this uh, packaging and packages of styrene and different things. So about 90 bucks for all of that. I will take it over to my workbenches and sort through, uh, organize this a little better. Uh, and then uh, I've got a lot of stuff that I can build off of. Now I did make mention about Method to My Madness. So this is a lot of stuff, different scales, uh, a lot of stuff I can't use right now uh, because I don't have anything that I'm building right now. You know, I've got, again, more stuff down here, kits, I've got a uh, little knife set, just like blades, little buildings, HO scale stuff, and HO scale engine, O scale uh, billboard. I'll get over to this stuff in a little bit, but I've got maybe a year, two years until I retire. Uh, like everybody else, uh, you know, when you get kind of at that point where you're just before you're going to retire, you tend to have a little bit more money in the pocket. That's what I'm doing, and that's what I'm buying, so that when I do retire, I've got all the stuff to keep me out of mischief for a very long time. I enjoy the hobby. I will stay in the hobby. These kinds of things will not go to waste. So that's kind of the method to my madness. I'll sort through a little bit of this and then show you what's left down at the bottom here on this one. So back at it after supper. <clears throat> and uh, here's more styrene that was in that particular uh, bin that I bought nice big pile of it here that over there I'll sort through all that later and back into the box so I've got more stuff I got some Accurail kits uh, some wood pieces uh, HM uh, Pensy uh, just regular DC which is what my HO scale runs so I'm nice with that this little kit here to spool hoist in HO scale uh, something 
looks like O scale, some sort of a cart buggy maybe. I'll uh, figure it out when I put it together. Uh, HO scale, old time automobile. Let's see what else I got in here. Um, gondola kit, mid-continent region, NMRA from a while back. So a lot of good stuff as well as some uh, O-scale barrels I can paint up and use. Uh, what I'll do now is I'll move this stuff and get down to the very last box that's in here. And uh, we'll take a look at that real quick. So the last thing in the box, more O-scale section of track. So this is the kind of track that I used on my OON30. Uh, it's a pile of just straight track. I still have some flex track left. This will just go into storage. Or if I do like a little display with some of the kits that I build and I put it up in the office, I've got some track to uh, set some equipment on just to, to look at. So anyway, a uh, pretty substantial uh, pile of stuff stuff today coming out of uh, Caboose Stop Hobbies. I'm a happy camper and uh, we'll do more when I get the uh, next box in. This time I'm looking through the box of styrene. So this is what's left of the little stuff that uh, I've sorted through it. I've got a variety of different things in here and a HO scale uh, power pole. But over here is what came out of the box. So a nice pile of uh, cut scrap, different thickness styrene, actually some wood. I've got uh, a pretty good wad of uh, stuff still in the package, all different sizes, different types. Over here, I've got about uh, a good two inches of sheet goods different stuff. There's a little bit of uh, card stock in here, but most of it is styrene. So that's exactly what I was after. Uh, I'm happy. It was a good purchase. I've got plenty of stuff for scratch building. So on to uh, some other stuff here. And the second box arrived today from Caboose Stop Hobbies. Uh, you can see Compared to a good sized tote, how big that box is. <laughs> uh, and it's heavy. Uh, the UPS guy was huffing and puffing getting it to the door. And then for me to get it out to the garage took just a little bit. But uh, we'll get it opened up here and uh, we'll take a look at what I bought. Let the games begin. So this is. Uh, Everything ON30 that they had at the shop that I called in and bought. Plus, I got a little bit of other stuff that I've picked up off of uh, shows that they've had. So I'm going to dig through here and see what I've ended up with. This is probably the biggest model train purchase that I've had to date. Uh, you know, a lot of stuff I can use. A lot of stuff going to storage for a while for future use. But let's dig everything out and take a look. So there was a lot in that box. Uh, starting over here, this is an O-scale coaling tower kit. Now, this is a, a Craftsman kit, wood, uh, brass, plastic parts. It's tall. I think it's like yeah, 7 by 7 by 16 and 3 something high. That is big. At some point in time in the future, I'll build it and maybe use it for display or maybe an O-scale layout. We'll see. Over here is just a variety of ON30 uh, cars. There's a couple of cabooses, a kitchen car, some uh, unlettered freight cars, uh, just a variety of rolling stock down here. Um, o scale tank car kit, an HO scale, I think it's Illinois Central, and then some detail parts that I'll paint up and put on the um, ON30 logging camp. Over here, now yeah, let's start in the back. So those are car sets. I've got uh, gondolas, I've got skeleton log cars, I've got a variety of uh, gondolas, high backs, some other more gondolas, some box cars. 
Again, those are two to three car sets there. Over here, got a little Porter engine, uh, DCC and sound. Looking forward to putting that one on the layout here. Over here, an articulated uh, 2442, uh, DCC, no sound. Over here, I think it's a 460, uh, no sound. Over here's another set of the uh, oh, uh, sort of bus and trailer. Uh, this is a silver one. I will try it and put this one on the layout and uh, see how that runs. A little uh, diesel electric uh, switch engine here, Pocahontas Lumber, which I've got. This next one that's sealed, and I've got the box flipped, is a, a two-truck Shea. Uh, it is DC, but I do think I've got a DCC decoder uh, that came with the other Shea that uh, I'm going to get out, look, and uh, I can probably put that together here. And then over here is a 440 American in DCC, no sound. So I'm quite happy with uh, everything that I've got here. A large, large pile of ON30, more than I can possibly use, <laughs> which is like it is. Um, you know, definitely a lot of it's going to see use on the layout, some of it I'm going to put away. We'll see. Uh, but I'm going to put it back in the box for right now and uh, start doing some other things out here in the garage. So with that, you know, keep having fun on your layouts. Until next time.